All right, guys, so I got a new Traxxas body in. This is the Proline body, the Ford Raptor, and I'm working on getting the paint job done to it. So what, what we have is, is we have a Cricut machine that is able to take a decal and create a vinyl sticker, okay? So I created the Empire Strikes Back sticker, and I taped off the bed and the windows and created a Star Wars sticker for the back and created a Vader helmet sticker. The Vader helmet sticker on this Ford Raptor body with all these transition lines is very difficult to get it to go in. So it's not square, it's not even. Like you'll see this corner is lower, this corner is higher. So it's a little bit tilted. And getting it to stick in with the transfer tape was exceptionally difficult to do. Um, when I go to spray it, I'm gonna have to make sure that all of these little areas, any little overspray that gets in it, I'll have to fix it. So I'll make sure that it's nice and flat when I go to actually spray the colors when they come in. I have to give you guys an idea of what I'm looking at. So I got the Empire Strikes back on both sides. And now what my plan is, is the bed in these sections, I'm gonna make that look like carbon fiber. Um, I'll kind of talk about that a little bit later once I've got the paint job done and how I did that and how it comes out. There's several videos on how to do it, but I'm going to do, uh, I'll do a video on the way I did it as well. I just have some tape covering some spots where the, the train, the cover has got some little tears in it. So that's what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm going to do yellow. I'm actually going to do yellow on all the logo stuff. I'm going to pearl the body and I'm going to spray the body black and all of that will be all yellow. Um, the carbon fiber in the bed. So I think when this is all done, this is going to come out to be a very nice, very nice looking uh, body for uh, for my X-Max. This is an X-Max body and it is the Ford Raptor body. Now I also have, I also have this light bar from Proline. Oh, let me get it in, in the camera. So that'll sit right up top somewhere like that. I think that has the mounts and everything in it. So I'll mount, mount that up on top of this Star Wars body. And I think that's going to look quite nice, I believe. There's the part number. Sorry, let me get it back in line. I think I'm a big Star Wars fan. I believe that this is gonna look very nice when I'm finished with it. So I'll come back to the uh, to the job when it's all painted, once my paint comes in, do another update video of how it looks. I'll talk about what I did with the uh, carbon fiber, how it comes out. And if you guys like that, I can do another video on how to do it at some point. Uh, no changes on the rustler or the, uh, or the slash. Haven't really done a whole lot there. I just picked up some batteries for the X-Max and you know, I want to get the new body and kind of get it ready to go uh, for some bashing and stuff. I did pick up, I haven't tried them yet. Let's see here. These little washers, okay, these little washers go down in all the little spots. I have these covered uh, for the overspray. But all these little spots where your frame, where your uh, mount goes, these go in there to help prevent your um, you know, your body from getting torn up in your bashing. I think I just got them on Amazon. I'm not sure. I think they're only a couple dollars. Not going to be putting any of these stickers on it. You know, maybe taillights and headlights. But, uh, but none of these stickers are going to go on to it. Because we're going to be all decked out. All decked out in Star Wars. And Empire Strikes Back is my favorite Star Wars movie, so that's what I had to do. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe and uh, share the video with your friends. Leave a comment below what you like, if you guys have any ideas. If you catch me early enough before the paint comes in, if you have any other ideas to add to it before I go to spray it, I may very well, depending on how much this bugs me over the next couple of days, I may remove this and make a new one and put it on the roof. But I really like the idea of having the Vader helmet on the hood. I think it looks really cool. But like I said, making it square and making it even was very difficult. I think if I would have put more time into it, I probably could have pieced it together instead of uh, 
And so trying to get on is one logo, which I think is where, you know, it really made it difficult. But with all of these transitions and stuff, it's just, you know, it's very difficult to get that to lay in there and get it to go straight. I tried and tried and tried and it's still not even. I mean, there's, as you can see, there's like imperfections. So I know I'm gonna get some overspray under it. I'll ream the edges down and I'll do everything I can to make it look as smooth as possible. But for a Basher RC car, imperfections are, they're gonna be imperfections. It's, you know, it's not a, uh, we're not going turning around and selling this car for $300 or anything like that. But if anybody is interested in having a job like this done, uh, let me know again and I might even be painting some Star Wars bodies and stuff, doing some similar stuff like this, getting them and turning them around and selling them. So if anybody's interested in that or has any ideas, please let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to make a video on, uh, on doing those bodies. All right, guys, again, thank you very much and have a good one.